Are you thinking about moving to Cape Coral, Florida? Well, if so, then you're in luck. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at Sposon Homes Hardwin model. It's a four bedroom, two bath, 1800 square foot home with a three car garage. Let's jump in and check it out. And hey, if you're new to the channel, take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon below. That way you'll know every time we drop a new, new home tour, just like this one. All right, as usual, we're gonna start around from the outside here. Wide pavers uh, on the driveway here. You've got a two car and a one car garage, making a total of three, no wall inside in between the two. You have impact glass and energy efficient glass all the way around, protected entry with the, pan uh, with the pavers. We'll get to that in a minute. You'll notice every side of the front had under, uh, under soffit lighting and Obviously, you have good stucco throughout the whole area here. So if you take a look, soffit and fascia and good, uh, good repair. You have your termite application strip there, accessory power outside. And then you'll get to one of the places we all enjoy here in Florida, the pavered pool area. Now, of course, this is still new construction. It's still in process. So there's no shiny pool yet. It's not even filled. Here's your lanai area here. You'll notice pocketed sliders there on the right. Again, high impact windows and your well equipment here. And around, we'll take another quick look at the pool. It's gonna be a good sized pool. You're gonna have a really good opportunity for someone here. And then of course your well equipment. This is for your pressurization and to clean up the water and to make sure it's all good and soft and everybody enjoys it. Your air conditioner, ream air conditioner, protected well on three different sides. And then of course your power in uh, power meter here. Good amount of landscaping already. And then you'll see the decorative lighting under the, uh, under the soffit area here as well. Let's pop inside though and take a look. This is a protected entryway, so that, that way you don't have as much debris impacting the glass. It is impact glass, but you have it protected, which is always an important thing. Nice entryway with a good accent lighting. Now we have bedroom number four up front here. Good size high baseboards in it. Nice paint selection. You've got the wall uh, walk-in closet with the door there instead of the bifolds. Bedroom number three. Again, good size. Has its own return for the air. And also another closet there with doors on it, not the bifolds. Bedroom two, nice size closet. Again, door, no bifold. And again, they carry the same trim throughout. Now this comes with the basic lighting in there, no ceiling fans, of course. You have your stone, stone vanity with undermount sink, a lot of counter space, tile in the shower combo tub area all the way up to the ceiling, brushed nickel fin uh, finish on the faucet and the fixtures pantry there your your linen closet for your towels and toiletries and then we got the hall area here to the great room we'll get back to that more in a minute on that this is of course your laundry area inside this is a lot deeper than it is wide i don't know if it comes through on the camera guys but it's a lot deeper than it is wide and then of course out to the three car garage so you'll notice it's a good size to it they're still in the middle of getting things done 200 amp service with arc fault breakers, of course, as code requires, and plenty of expansion rooms. If you wanna add things later on, you've got the room to do it. You want a small workbench area or a little nook for all your stuff, there it is. Air conditioning, air handler unit up there in the ceiling. And one of the things also we wanna notice as well is that there is a lot of the baseboard and trim work already carried throughout. Of course, the doors are high reinforced. They're rated for wind, so you're not gonna have any problems there. You have internet controlled openers, of course, back to the great room with the decorative trim ceiling. They have indirect lighting up in the tray area there as well. Room for your big TV and a recess for it. Onto your master bedroom. Again, the same indirect lighting you'll see here, tray ceiling, and lots and lots of light all throughout the area. We'll wheel over to the master bathroom, separate tub, soaking tub, as well as a shower, with rainfall shower. So you'll see that again, the tile carried all throughout to the ceiling, water closet, 
for privacy's sake, of course. And then, of course, dual vanities. And again, the brushed nickel furnishings, uh, fixtures all throughout. Guys, this is a really good size room. Again, I don't know how much it comes through on camera, but it is a good size. And then, speaking of size, here's your walk-in closet. Now, you of course have your wire, wire rack system to start. This is your tech panel for all your home electronics. So it's centrally wired to there. But you can put a closet system in here easy and make that the closet of your dreams, ladies. This is a high impact glass pocketed slider. You can open this fully to the right and it will go all the way back, meaning during the winter time, you can have that all as an extension of your living space. So this ends up being a very wide and open room. Of course, it's a great room concept. You have shaker style cabinetry, stainless furnishings and appliances. You also have, of course, the island here in the middle with the sink and fixtures there. Of course, a dining area here on the side. And we'll give you another look at the whole setup here. Of course, they're still finishing some of the trim and some of the finishes on it. They've yet to put the backsplash in. We're prepped and ready for that, it looks like. So we'll be getting a backsplash of some kind there. Pantry there to the right. And one of the things also, I know some people it's not a big deal. Dovetail, joinery, soft clothes, hardware and show you that again so if you take it nice soft close you don't have to worry about that cabinets also if somebody's coming through in the middle of the morning or at night and they want to slam something shut like kids do it will prevent the thuds and the noises and the bang so you have a lot of peace and quiet in the house so that's the hardwood model from Spos and Homes. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below what your questions are, what you have in mind. And if you're interested in taking a personal tour of it or homes just like it, let us know in the comments below or you can reach out and DM us or give us an email. The information is all there in the description. We look forward to talking to you on the next one.